hello guys welcome back to our channel so if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe it and like our videos and watch other videos related to civil engineering and some videos are there about mathematics so in today's video we are going to learn how to calculate the quantity of materials that we are going to require for to cast a footing or for concrete casting so here we have so here i have a drawing of machine foundations so there are two different foundations so in this video we are going for this one then in next video i'll show how to calculate for this this is more completely complicated one so let's go for a simpler one first so this is the layout plan for for this machine footing and here let me move the camera here it is the the section section of this this footing it's section cc as you can see it's c section c and here let me move this sheet here is section dd this section is for the another footing so let me draw this on this sheet so that it would be much easier for you guys to understand it let me draw this footing so as you can see in this section here so they it's gonna be in two parts this one uh, below the ngl level sorry ffl level and above the ffl level so let me draw it below ffl so here is the layout plan so in drawing it is 3 meter wide and 3.2 meter long and it is the layout and the section is and the thickness is 0 0.4 meter it's 400 in the as per the drawing so So let's calculate the wet volume. The volume of the concrete after mixing, after the mixture of cement, sand, and aggregate, and when you add the water and you make the mixture of concrete, that is called that volume is the wet volume. So the wet volume will be length into breadth into height. So the length is 3.2, width is 3 and the height is 0 0.4 3.2 multiply by 3 multiply by 0.4 it is 3.84 cubic meter of concrete of wet volume we are going to require 3.84 cubic meter so if wet volume is this so what will be our dry volume as in our previous video i showed you guys how to calculate the dry volume so dry volume is wet volume multiply by 1.57 so this is 3.84 multiply by 1.57 so it's gonna be 3.84 multiply by 1.57 this is 6.0288 so 6.03 cubic meter so this is our dry volume of concrete so so now we are going to calculate the quantity of cement sand and aggregate that we are going to require to make a mixture of concrete or having volume of 6.03 cubic meter so let me take another sheet turn it up side down so a dry volume is 6.03 cubic meter so mentioned here in the drawing that the grade is m25 so the ratio for m25 is the ratio is 1 ratio 1 ratio 2 so the one is cement one is sand and the two is aggregate so the 
sum of ratios is 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is 4 so how do we calculate the quantity of cement let's calculate for the cement first so the ratio of the cement is 1 divided by sum of the ratios which is 4 multiplied by the total volume which is 6.03 6.03 so it is 6.03 divided by 4 which is 1.507 cubic meter of cement so to calculate in number of bags so number of bags what we're gonna do is divide the total volume by the volume of one bag which is 0 0.0347 1.507 so divide by 0 0.0347 which is around 43.4 Two nine bags that is approximately 44 bags so we are done with the cement now calculate the quantity of sand so there is also one divide by sum of ratios which is four and the quantity is six one zero three so it's gonna be same so one point five zero seven cubic meter and now the rest is quantity of aggregate it is 2 divided by 4 multiplied by 6.03 which is gonna be double of this so it is 1.507 multiplied by 2 so that is 3.014 cubic meter so this is for the for below FFL level now we are going to calculate for above FFL level So let me draw the layout and section above FFL. So it's, it's two meter wide and two point six meter long. It's the layout and the section is gonna be. Let me check. Okay. 2.6 meter long and the height is in the drawing 2.27 it's too small 2.27 meter height sorry I made it wrong it was supposed to be long to be high okay that's okay so the wet volume L into B into H length is 2.6 breadth is 2 meter and height is 2.27 let's calculate 2.6 multiply by 2 multiply by 2.27 which is 11.804 cubic meter now we will find out the dry volume which will be wet volume multiplied by 1.57 so 11.804 multiplied by 1.57 this is multiplied by 1.57 so it's 18.53 cubic meter let's find out the quantity of Siemens sand and, ag and aggregate, aggregate to make a mixture of 18.53 cubic meter of concrete by volume. So our 
dry volume is eighteen point five three cubic meter. A grade of concrete is M twenty five. M is the mixture and twenty five is the characteristic compressive strength of concrete after twenty eight days. The, so the ratio of this concrete is one ratio of one. Ratio two. Okay, so sum of ratios is the same four. Let's calculate the quantity of cement. It's gonna be one it's because the ratio of cement is one divided by the sum of ratios which is four multiplied by total quantity which is 18.53 cubic meter five three so it's gonna be 18.53 divided by 4 which is 4.63 cubic meter of cement so let's find out the number of bags total volume divided by volume of one bag which is 0 .0, 0 0.0347 divided by 0 0.0347 is 133.5 so around 134 bags of cement now let's calculate the quantity of sand so the ratio is 1, sum of ratios is 4, total quantity is 18.53 which is going to be 4.63 cubic meter. So aggregate it is ratio is 2, sum of ratios is 4 multiplied by 18.53 which is gonna be double of this quantity okay. so which will be 6 to 9 so this is the number of bags the quantity of sand and aggregate so we we are done with the calculation for quantity of cement sand aggregate for below FFL level and above FFL level so for the, this whole footing we are gonna add up or both of these things so let's add them let me turn it upside down so the total quantities of cement sand and aggregate will be cement so below FFL level it was uh, let me check Let's see here forty four bags and above FFL level it was one hundred and thirty four bags so on total it is here yeah, seven one seventy eight bags of cement for send below FFL we need 1.507 cubic meter of send and above FFL it was 4.63 which is gonna be 7 3 1 6 6.137 cubic meter of send for aggregate it was below FFL it was 3.014 above FFL it was 9.26 which is gonna be 4 7 2 12 12.274 cubic meter so this is the quantity of send quantity of sorry quantity of cement quantity of sand and quantity of aggregate we are going to require to 
cast to make a concrete mixture to cast this this footing for this machine foundation so that's all for this video guys in next video i'll show you how to calculate how to make the bbs and calculate the quantity of steel uh, which we are going to require in beam footing columns anywhere so thank you for this for watching this video till the very end happy learning bye bye and don't forget to subscribe our channel